NSM media producer and news analyst Harry Hughes pins down anti-fascist, anti-Trump protesters on Friday while women march against Trump on Saturday. But Harry, your thing, uh, the video that we saw, and it's available at the nsmmedia.org forward slash nsmmedia website as well, um, as all over the internet now, uh, made it look like a soap opera at the anti-Trump protests. Uh, It's probably more of a soap opera with the women uh, on Saturday, but this one, I mean, I couldn't believe it, Harry. These Antifa, these left people were acting more like what we, the right, are being accused of being. Yes, that's the fact. Uh, it was, and I recognized them uh, even without their masks because they were mm. at a previous event where they actually attacked people. Mm. So, um, you know, they were all familiar. Uh, they knew who I was and <laughs> by name. So, uh, mm. however, they they didn't try to hound me around or mess around with me. Instead, they they went after uh, three other fellows that were there with a couple of signs. Uh, one was an anti-Antifa sign, and the other one said free free helicopter rides for communists. So uh, the, the uh, and then, and they had a couple of banners. One had a banner that said "Make racists afraid again." Mm, so, uh, I, and the other one was the, the John Brown Hunting Club. And uh, I I don't know why they decided to be the John Brown Hunting Club, but they didn't have the black mask on this time, but they all had red bandanas around their necks, so they were very easy to spot in the crowd. Uh, One fellow had a baseball bat, but left out the ball and glove, and a couple others had rifles, but these are the same people I saw assaulting people at a mosque protest a couple years ago, so... Uh, I, I hope they know that uh, there is a statute of limitations on, on assaults and crimes in Arizona and that they have actually exposed their faces to cameras and the media. So we'll see how that goes for them uh, You know, some months down the road. We'll see. They're, they're going to have to uh, race the statute of limitations clock and hope they don't get recognized or, or actually uh, you know, pointed out or exposed. Actually, Harry, could I... Not that, uh, and I know Aaron would agree, not that Weekend is ever bold, but uh, might you be willing to turn over your footage to law enforcement and uh, and say, guys, hey, surprise, or even as a uh, anonymous little package on a DVD? I normally wouldn't cooperate with law enforcement. That's just not my style. And uh, a couple of my predecessors here is, in the NSM have also taking the same stance, but I did take lots of photos. I did shoot video. It's being posted on Twitter. I, I even mm. made a few memes. I even made a few memes out there, which oh. is something I don't do very... I don't do that very often, but they, they look kind of nice and they're flashy, so I might uh, put some of those on Twitter with links to my videos and things, so if somebody you... sees them, they see them, you know, it's, it's public, but uh, I'm not going to openly... Uh, you know, wrap these people out simply because uh, that's just could you not send my it, style. Did you make memes of uh, pictures that you cut? I made some memes of the Antifa guys uh, and the John could Brown you send, Club. Could you send me those, please? I want those on the media website. Uh, he monitored the Phoenix rally and caught some rather inept and ridiculous footage of the Antifa uh, people there. Uh, what's your take on this, Brian? Well, I mean, the whole Antifa thing there, of course, is, you know, totally predictable. These anarchists are the same uh, clowns that generally protest us in the streets. Um, of course, our response is typically different than Richard Spencer's was when we get attacked. Um, we don't ask for the police. Oh. 